Mira Margaret Singh, and I'm the current artist in residence at the AGO for summer 2015. I predominantly work in uh, photography and video, and most of my work centers around an exploration of the body as both a site of transformation and transgression. Um, I think about my practice as a way to explore intimacy, um, you know, how to attain it and to elicit it. One of the most exciting things about being at the AGO and working here is that the staff who have been an invaluable resource and so helpful have um, have allowed me to um, experiment and explore without any sort of um, barriers. The first project that I started was to install two photographs from my series of female bodybuilders um, into the European collection here. And I think that the idea of putting these women in this context caused a different sort of incarnation or a different sort of um, dialogue to happen between the images and within them. So I was really excited about um, bringing these women who I think um, transgress traditional notions of femininity into a space uh, such as this. The second project that I'm doing is uh, laughter yoga workshops with the help of Sue Bannett, who is a laughter yoga instructor. And together we are creating these free participatory workshops that question the gallery space as simply a place for silence and contemplation. We were interested in thinking about what happens when the gallery is imbued with laughter. I became interested in laughter yoga while I was teaching a workshop in India. I was actually working with students to work with the elderly and I came across various um, seniors who were practicing laughter yoga. And I think at the time, because I had been working with um, female bodybuilders, it became an interesting examination in terms of this idea that the body cannot differentiate between real laughter and induced laughter. So this, this idea of the simulated and the real became really fascinating to me, both as a sort of physiological response, but then I was thinking about how to explore that artistically. So I think that there's this desire to invigorate the gallery space and to think about how contemporary voices can come into um, a space and challenge the way that we think about you know, a gallery.